Flamethrowers in Terraria are a forgotten subclass of ranger, even less developed than darts or rocket launchers. Some people probably don't even realize that they were flamethrowers in the game at all, but I for one did not forget about them. And neither did the Calamity mod, adding just enough flamethrowers to make him a viable subclass for an entire playthrough. So I figured the best way for me to attempt my first death mode challenge would be utilizing this forgotten subclass. Welcome to the flamethrower only challenge. Now, in case you're not aware, Calamity is a large mod for Terraria that adds many new bosses, items, and even two new difficulty modes. The harder of these two modes is appropriately named Death Mode, and is what I will be using for this playthrough. Death Mode makes bosses and enemies harder, buffing their stats and tweaking their AI. Think of it like a harder master mode. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the Calamity mod adds a few new flamethrowers to the game. Most importantly, it adds some flamethrowers to pre-hard mode, making this challenge possible. In order to get my first flamethrower, however, I would need to find a flare gun, rubies, and gel. Now, gel is actually going to be a bit more tricky than you may think. Because of the flamethrower-only nature of this challenge, I wasn't able to attack any slimes myself. And thanks to some mods that I had installed, NPCs wouldn't attack slimes either. So my plan was to obtain lava that I could use for a primitive trap on the surface. Dude, these, these king slime slimes are impossible to dodge. This is so bad. I can't attack them. They're going to rip me apart. Nice thing about doing a cha- Oh, okay, okay. Guys, pause champ. Our first chance at totally Hermes boots. That's definitely what I want. Please give me Hermes boots. Irony aside, I actually wouldn't mind getting Hermes boots. I think the only thing I really don't want is like shoe spikes. Oh, dude. Okay, we're pogging up. So I got the flare gun. That's part one. Now I just need gel and a ruby and we can make our first flamethrower. <laughs> it worked. The Hermes boots strategy is flawless. Now we can do flares at a range. Uh oh. The slimes are here. Run away. Ah, it was a setup. Can't see. I'm dead. Frick, I had gold on me too. Oh, that's unfortunate. We are now on the hunt for some lava. If only we were playing for the worthy right about now, that would have actually been beneficial. Are those rubies? Two out of three. I just need gel now. What would normally be the easiest part of the flamethrower is now becoming the hardest because I cannot kill a slime and my NPCs won't do it either. What counts as a flamethrower? Anything that's listed as a flamethrower on the wiki. I am playing Calamity, so we do have some extra flamethrowers, but there's still not very many. <gasps> oh my gosh. A blizzard in a bottle. That's so huge. That's gonna help more than like, oh. <gasps> and a slime statue? Okay. That was the best chest room that we're ever gonna get in the entire playthrough, pretty much. Please. Just let me get to lava, safe and sound. Just yoink up a little nice little bucket of the hot stuff. Guys, there's a bat and a worm guarding this lava. Okay, I got the bucket of lava, it doesn't matter. I'll get out to save money though. I officially have all the ingredients for my first weapon, kind of. Nice! I got four gel, so I need 12 gel to craft it, and then obviously I need more as ammo. But we're getting there, guys, we're really getting there. Yes! Give me all of your gel! It's wonderful! We're finally making progress! I have 15 gel, I need one more and we can make our first weapon. Wait, no, it was 12. Okay, I lied. I can make it right now. Let's go, dude. Bam! We've done- Okay, we got our first weapon. And uh, we can't make another one because we don't have another flare gun. At least you can attack now. I mean, yeah, six damage is better than no damage, but I would have preferred like maybe not awful. I'm pretty sure that's legitimately the worst modifier in the game. <laughs> Though my first weapon was pretty bad, I could at the very least attack enemies now, but I still needed a good source of ammo. So I decided to use the slime statue that I had found earlier to make a gel farm underground. Once we get timers, we can make this way faster, but for now, this'll work. And we're gonna want a lot of gel. Isn't there unlimited gel in Louis AFK? Oh, there probably is. 1,500. I didn't even think about that. Did we do that? 
Yes, do it. Absolutely worth it. I mean, sure, it's worth it. I'm wondering if we should do it or not, though. But you know what? I don't think it's that OP. I mean, it's basically do that. This is infinite gel. Like, it is. It just takes time. So all making the Louis AFK thing would do is save us time. So we now officially have infinite gel. I cannot wait until we get a better flamethrower, man. This one is rough. It's better than having nothing, but it is rough, dude. The happiness of being able to attack things is very quickly wearing off at the fact that this is a bad weapon. I need six desert feathers, and I can make the prowler armor. Oh, double vulture, nice. One of them's bound to give me a feather, right? Perhaps a pyramid with a magic carpet or something? You didn't get the pharaoh set? Why are you saying no? That's a good thing. You wanted me to get the pharaoh set? What's your problem? Twitch chat wanting me to get a bad thing? That's crazy. I've never heard of that before. All right, so we're going to lose a defense, but I'm fine with that because what we will gain is damage and critical strike. With my new armor crafted, I next set off on a quest to find life crystals to increase my maximum HP. Why did I come down here? This was not a good idea. Found a queen beehive. There's a life crystal. I want it. I want it. No, 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 no. Personal bubble. Six feet. COVID. Well, we almost got a life crystal. So close. Hey, look, it's a party time. We come back and it's party. Are you throwing party for me? Wait, is this a death party? Are you guys celebrating because I died? What the frick, dude? Goldfish! Goldfish be falling, but he no take fall damage because he is gamer. What do the blue flares do? Uh, they're blue. Mainly. I need hearts. I need life. I want HPs. Seeing your own wide face staring at you as soon as you wake up would be pretty scary. Nurse, help. I've been a dumb and I fell into lava. The chances of waking up with wide Iraq staring at you are low, but never zero. Just some fuel for thought. When me, Gooseman, and Ninja Tyler Blevins all played Fortnite. Totally forgot about that one. This chests are be getting kind of full though. What did I what did I just say? Only the goblin was considered treasure, and I could see it with the Splunker potion. My max HP was now substantially higher, so I decided to attempt my first boss fight against Desert Scourge. I probably should have grabbed potions, actually, now that I think about it. Well, too late now. Okay, minions are gone. That's really big. Makes the rest of the fight substantially easier to manage. We do not deal that much damage, though. Okay. Oh, wait, he's art. Oh, I'm getting owned. I'm dead. Well, that was fast. My first attempt against the boss had not gone well, and after another failed battle, I decided that my weapon, though capable of beating the boss, was handicapping my performance. I did, however, have another option. By rushing the underworld and fishing in lava, I could obtain a substantially better flamethrower, but this would not be easy. The underworld was a very dangerous place, especially in death mode, and I would need to obtain a rare fishing rod from one of the enemies found there if I was going to be able to fish in lava at all. So I decided to end the stream for the day, and the next morning, off stream, I set off for the underworld, expecting a long and grindy process. Fortunately, I was wrong in this assumption. Not long after arriving, the rod that I needed dropped, and I was able to begin fishing in lava. But even more luckily, on just my second cast into the lava, I somehow managed to fish up the very flamethrower that I was after, quickly ending my underworld expedition, and allowing me to start my stream back up to take on Desert Scourge once again. So I will say the one problem with this weapon is it's a bit hard to aim, but I don't think that's that big of a deal. It's still by far an upgrade to what we had before. Are you guys ready for our first boss fight? Okay, here we go. Oh yeah, I can already tell this is gonna be way better than the last time we fought him. Ooh, that was a bit scary. Oh my gosh, I do a lot of damage with this thing. To be fair, this is a worm though. And worms do kind of get countered by this sort of thing. Gotta watch out for them projectiles. Well, I don't like this. Kind of getting surrounded here. I'm curious to see how well this is going to stack up against non-worm bosses. Like Eye of Cthulhu, because that's who's next. 
Before we fight Eye of Cthulhu, I kind of want to get... Hmm. I kind of want to get immunity to fall damage. Star Fury! That's the one item that's useless to me. Balloon! Now we just need that horseshoe and we'll be all done with the skies. Another balloon? What's going on here? Hey, there's our horseshoe. And it's a lucky, lucky horseshoe. <laughs> All right, it's boss time. You guys ready for the eye? Grab that swiftness. And let's do it. Aided by my new flamethrower, I had quickly worked my way through many of the pre-hard mode bosses, but more still lay ahead if I wanted to make it to hard mode. That quest, however, will have to wait for the next episode. If you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing so you don't miss out on part 2 when I upload it. And if you don't want to wait, I'm actually live right now at the time of uploading this video. There'll be a link to my Twitch in the description if you're interested. But with that out of the way, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you to The Great Bendini, Beeve's Biggest Simp, and all my other patrons for helping make this video possible. Oh, he's gonna land on me! I've been squooshed!